Hello traders, how are you? Vladimir Rybakov here from Traders Academy Club and welcome to the weekly market review for the week starting on 18 of February to the 23rd of February. First of all, thank you very much for uh, the time you find to watch the video. I hope you will enjoy that and I hope I can um, bring you the quality that you expect. And um, if you do enjoy the video, please show your um, support back. Hit the like button, leave some feedback and your comment below the video. It really helps and I really appreciate that. So thank you very much in advance. Uh, if there are any instruments that I did not cover in this video, but uh, you do want me uh, to, so please let me know, just write down below the video and I will try and cover it for you as soon as possible. Uh, I'm very sorry for my voice, as you can hear, uh, my voice is uh, <laughs> not the best conditions, kind of broken here. I got very, very cold and sick uh, and still I wanted to do record this video for you so you can um, uh, uh, come prepared and ready for the trading week and hopefully to uh, be able and help you um, make some better decisions. Uh, so uh, let's begin. First of all, it's very important to say that Monday is a day off in the US, so the volumes should be pretty much broken. It might go and start interesting on the first part, but the second part of the day should be uh, pretty much voluminous so I wouldn't let's say put all my money in the basket on Monday so I would pretty much wait for better opportunities and better volumes uh, so the first pair on the list is the euro versus the dollar which follow the bullish scenario as, as you remember the previous week right from here we have been talking on two scenarios one of them was that if we want to go bearish, we must get two waves retrace and a breakout. If it doesn't happen, the euro dollar still follows this retrace and a bullish hidden divergence, which it did and took us to completely new high close to the 126. Now, the weekly level is still there. The 126 zone, um, the daily level is also here now with this special cycle. And all that is coming into the big view from the weekly. This basically this is, it's pretty pretty simple here. The divergence is in play, and now we have a false break right here. So the euro dollar is bouncing also from action zones, creating for us an engulfing pattern. This is a pretty serious engulfing. So basically, we can start looking for the uh, sells now by ideal the euro dollar for conservative yeah we need to break below this low to gain some momentum of lower lows and then start to sell the rallies go into the correction that's the ideal scenario but in the test of the reality we can already start and looking for sales the best way to do that is to go on the lower time frames and look for two waves pullbacks on lower time frames, four hour or the one hour chart because this is a daily cycle and get sorry get the breakout and get yourself into a possible sell opportunity the next levels on the uh, bottom to look for would be here here and here at this stage uh, right closer to the um to the trend line now the importance of waiting for two waves retrace back is already been seen on this week because the two waves represents a normal healthy retrace break below that normally brings in a lot of money if that does not happen what could happen is so this is what we're looking for right the breakdown if that doesn't happen that can just keep climbing so same could happen here if it doesn't happen two waves and breakout we just keep climbing for potentially one more false break. Very, very, very possible. Very, very doable. And that's why I repeat, uh, for the uh, conservative view, we have to break below this low and then start looking to sell rallies. But due to the daily and the weekly divergence in cycle. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Oh, 
due to the daily and the weekly cycle, we have these uh, uh, levels. We have the false break coming here, right on play. The divergence is uh, serious, very good one. And of course, we have the statistical uh, confirmation here. As you can see, 19, which would be the uh, Monday day, and 17, which is now, right, right here. That's the taste to represent a possible top. Add to that the fact that we are above the uh, false break, above the action zone, and you get yourself a very convincing uh, reasons for possible sales. Euro versus the pound, the pair that we have been looking for sell for the long term. And if you remember a few weeks ago, that's that <clears throat> that was the analysis here. We have the triple cycle to the upside on the weekly. Uh, we have the possible range creating on the on the weekly here so what the pair did was first move then a triangle which most likely most likely will do and continue uh, lower so if you remember our analysis a couple of weeks ago and we said that as long as we hold and respect this very uh pattern and the very action zones here we should be looking for the cell so we got a two waves retrace here and on the lower time frames, we get ourselves the entry bearish evidences. The expectations from that to reach this low and further on to go all the way to the low of the weekly uh, range. And the way to do that would be basically go and drop to 4 hour or the 1 hour chart, which is currently developing here kind of a channel. So every pullback, back to it into waves or back to the action zones which is, are currently here, great chance that after the pair continue, it will move the action zone here and upgrade the current levels. So we will be looking for these bounces and enjoy the right <laughs> continuation down. Pound versus the yen is approaching to some uh, critical zone. Now you remember our bearish view here with the convergence that we got and we said on the previous weeks, look to sell every rally as simple as that and previous week we got beautiful retraces these retraces got us back to the action zone and provided us sorry it wasn't, it wasn't here it was right from here back to the break back to action zones and sell so if we take a look on the levels then this is a classical channel going to the upside right previous move down was in two waves so there is a great chance after this rally, this is what is also expected to happen. Uh, just uh, the, the angles would be a bit different in this case. Um, but um, this is the critical zone. And this is the zone of 146, I would say. 146, 147. Um, if we can get it here. And this is where I would expect the divergence to start and form. And from there, very likely... We are going to bounce. Meanwhile, sell good rallies would be still our plan. We have the action zones for that right here and right here. So every retrace back to them uh, provides us the sell we want to go with. The next one on the list would be the cat frog. Now you remember this pair. We started to follow this a uh, couple of weeks ago. Uh, or, or three weeks ago, we said we should get it right to this area. From here it was, right? So we said slow, 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 right to there. So far it is following our plan pretty amazingly, I would say. The the level of the 161.8 is right here of this uh, cycle, right? This is a four-hour chart triple cycle if we drop lower, and we will do it right now here. So we can see that this is a pretty much a classical uh, scenario here. One, two, three. We had one false break. Now it's uh, building up a second one possibly here. It might go and still play here. That's why we, what we require here is first of all break of the trend line and higher highs. We need to start see the money flow goes into the bullish direction. Once it does, then what we can do and what we should do is look for two waves retraces. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the four hour chart. It could be also on the one hour chart. And this scenario has to provide us the bullish evidence. Once it brings it in, look for buys. As long as it didn't happen. And this is why I say that because 
traders on such cases jump in just because the level is good and that's wrong there is support yes there is a level it, yes so what it can still take time and basically what many traders do is going to five minutes and here every single attempt for a rally every single attempt they go and buy it doesn't make any sense right the intraday cannot change the weekly and the daily direction it doesn't make sense so wait for the setup to form it will form this week the other week it will form and will provide us the sell the buys we, we want to do meanwhile it is still bearish and what we require here is the break of the trend line <clears throat> sorry break of the trend line higher highs to be created and then two wave retrace down and the buys would be uh, validated new zealandian dollar appeared i have been asked a lot about this week and it's very very tricky one and i will explain from one side we are on the top of the weekly but the top of the weekly still suggests uh 075 076 now we do have a double top here we do have the bearish divergence potentially for we do have a bearish candle holding but will that be enough for sales so what i would suggest in that case is start looking for the um same idea like with the euro if it managed to hold it two waves or traces look to sell them that could be four hour chart it could be one hour chart look to sell them but on the same time this is the possible scenario here you see where the cycle goes right in between 075 to 076 which is the top of the weekly range this uh 61 8 cycle in other words uh what we what we do is we have this trend line right on the four hour chart and we have this on the daily chart if we get the two waves down and they are broken this is with very big chance uh, continuation to go further so meanwhile as long as this top holds and the action zone is respected this is a kicker pattern look for sell rallies and there is a good chance we are going back to the action zones represented here and the trend lines uh, but if we get the two waves retrace on the four hour chart and they are broken game is basically over for the for the cells so don't uh, yet fall in love with this idea pound kiwi one of my favorites and i will explain why very quickly according to the monthly chart we have here a triple cycle which means we're looking for long term buys we had one false break second false break on the divergence on the moving averages sorry guys um and on the daily chart what we have here is this situation that was a double cycle and currently it's correcting itself into one two and that was a triple cycle here one two three on the lower time now it has two false breaks one on the top one on the bottom it's right here make it a range this is our critical area so what we want to see for the pound kiwi is continue this lazy move down and from this area we have the trend line retest or we have the next area right here that's where we will want to see bullish evidences how by going to low this is a daily chart right so what we will need there is go to lower time frames and start looking for these setups so that's somewhere on the lower time frame right we need to see uh, false breaks we need to see that gaining higher highs and then two waves retrace and breakout we have it we have the reasons for longs meanwhile don't rush into that one it will most likely prepare that into ideal trade you just need times you can see yourself that this 61 8 of this cycle is right here the same levels of the range and the 100 is right on the trend line one of these levels is going to hold and is going to be uh, respected big time the thing is this is the daily chart so there is no reason to rush i'm showing, I'm showing you that right now but this could last for for some time don't rush into this one but keep it in mind because when we keep when we put all the long time frames together and they pro provide the same directions the same levels we get ourselves a monster a monster so what we want is 
basically get there, start to create lower lows, higher highs, to switch the momentum and look to buy retraces. Uh, next one on the list is the New Zealand Canadian, very beautiful one which I like. We have triple spot coming on the way. This is a bearish hidden divergence between these two. The uh, second high is going um, higher than the previous uh, high of the MACD. We have uh, uh, Bollinger Bands breakout right in this place, so we can go for the duplication zone. A bearish hidden divergence is in place, so that's a really good one to follow. And the daily chart builds up the cycle that we have been uh, waiting for. It could be splitted as a special easily. It could be sp split as a double. You name it, it, that's correct. The conclusion is the same. The zone of 093 up to 094 is the critical zone for us. So the closer we can climb here, we will need to start to see false breaks and lower lows, sell retraces. Okay, meanwhile, let it dance, let it build. I know many traders uh, uh, desperately waiting for this uh, setup to form. Um, it's coming. Don't try to mm, make things happen faster than they should. Uh, also, if you keep, pay attention to, we have some potential bank zone right here. Not, not classical, not really the most reliable one due to the spike breakout. But this is a consolidation area we need to pay attention to. It used to be a pretty serious area right here. It's the same zone closer to 094, yes. But if we can get it here, that's where we should start it. Meanwhile, retraces could still provide the uh, spoken rally. Uh, oil bounced, well, it became beautifully bearish, bounced right from that trend line. <clears throat> wow. Guys, I hope you survived my voice. I'm very sorry for that. Really, I feel embarrassed, but uh, I, I still decided to make this video for you. Uh, my wife is angry, by the way. So this is a bullish uh, hidden divergence here. And the bounce of the trend line is pretty serious. We have this trend line as well. Wow, it's, <laughs> I make it with an angle um, bounce beautifully from the action zones that we can see here and it's acceptable for the short-term retraces for the long-term retraces uh, for long direction I would still most likely be looking to sell rallies what I want to see that uh, holding the Fibonacci retraces and right from the action zones start looking for bearish evidences which would be trendline breakouts on lower time frames or false breaks and lower lows so we can go and sell retraces uh, that's the idea for uh, for the oil uh, and of course very important to say here if we break above these um, Fibonacci retraces straight this is a warning sign that we might go and start switch it to the buy because in that case is many times when the Fibonacci retraces are not respected and goes one way back. What happened here? Uh, what goes one one way back, then um, uh, it, it it continues the main direction, and that's why we have to be very careful. If it does that, 69 up to 70 would be the next target for the oil. Dow Jones, fine. If you oh, no, <laughs> that's uh, classical condition. After the first crash, I got, I don't know, 150, maybe more, uh, messages, Skypes, emails, supporting, blog, Telegram, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. So is it a good time to go and sell? I wanted to remind you always, guys, after vertical move, which is falling star, uh, falling knife, call it whatever you want. Many times the retraces are ugly, long. That's what pretty much ha happening right now. We got finally the four hour chart cycles. Finally, the bearish divergence is coming in play. Finally, the corrective levels hold. The question here is, will that survive and hold? This is the trend and it has to be broken for the long term. I know it sounds crazy for the majority, but this is what it is.
it has to break it before we start looking for sales so what can we do meanwhile uh, for those who insist on the short term try to catch the potential big fish we need to start to see at least this trend and breakout lower lows two waves retraces and breakouts it could be on the four hour chart it could be on the one hour chart but not lower doesn't it doesn't uh, make any sense to do it lower only then we can discuss about sales and on the same time keep attention because if it keeps rolling through these levels game is over for the current uh, sudden drop and we might be seeing even new highs i know it sounds crazy at this stage everything is doable especially with the american indices at this stage being uh, i have my doubts i think we are going for a good retrace from here don't rush that's why i show it to you here same with the s p uh, sorry same with the s p the levels are there we are here but this is the only trend that we have currently of the abcd why to rush there is a good chance we are also going to some kind of range first of all so why 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 to rush right doesn't make sense so the same idea is applied to s p as well we want to see that going back below the levels sorry going back below the levels two waves retraces four hour or the one hour chart breakout and we can try the sales the risk compared to the reward makes it always um worth it and this is my favorite the german versus the ducks the only one that really had some ultra confirmations from all the higher time frame second false break uh, convergence here so for me this is the critical zone which i'm looking to go and sell and that's the levels we have the levels of 100 duplication and the action zone the next one is 161.8 so what we want to see that stopping here or here this is the last trend line breakout and start looking for the possible sales bitcoin holding uh beautifully the trend line bounce the bullish divergence as we expected to happen two weeks ago uh three weeks ago actually now create some kind of bearish hidden divergence here which means this is most likely this area would represent short-term tops and possible corrections uh, so that's what most likely from my point of view going to happen here litecoin broke also bounce from the trend line bullish divergence broke the trend line <clears throat> now the litecoin there are speculations about the fork to happen this week and i say speculations because nothing is still official um so um what what we should do here is basically um let it go <laughs> in two waves and if the fork is about to happen and the bulls remain as they are we have the great uh, sign for continuation and from my point of view litecoin uh, for the very long term is one of the better opportunities out there i believe in technology i think it's better than bitcoin uh, i think um, it offers better solutions as well ethereum one of the best ones for the long term as well a beautiful trend line bearish divergence is building up here and here on the last part uh, that's the cycle zone the 61.8 that's 161.8 that's the trend line so the level of 1000 plus minus should be the level of a possible retrace down and the waves where from we would be looking after that for continuation so we would be looking for possible retraces to happen here uh, the only invalidation for such scenarios would be break above the trend line retest it by two waves and break again so double breakout break above the trend line to retrace in two waves and another breakout to the upside and then we have uh, the <coughs> confirmation for continuation that's the only invalidation that could be valid uh, uh, for this possible setup uh, cell setup forming that's all guys thank you very much for watching uh, this video i hope you uh, enjoyed it. oh sorry <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it despite my voice really sorry for that uh, if uh, your wife or your husband asking who is this guy with this voice tell him that's not how i sound in normal and i'll do my best to be better for the next week um 
so enjoy the all-star uh, weekend it's gonna be awesome team lebron team stefan curry really amazing and uh, once again thank you very much for your time watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope i gave you the quality that you expect and um, help you to come and be prepared for the coming week and hopefully uh, help you to trade better and uh, get yourself the better results um, so uh, that's all my name is Vladimir Rybakov from Traders Academy Club I invite you to take part of our club in case you are still not in the club uh, the invitation link is right below my video in the description and that's all your help by uh, leaving your comment and feedback and hitting the like button will be very appreciated feel free to share this this video with everyone who you believe can uh, benefit from that by watching this video and can learn a few things with us so uh, i hope to see you in the traders academy club and anyway i wish you the best trading week stay safe stay well and i'll see you the next weekend yours vladimir Rybakov, traders academy club Thank you for watching. We appreciate your time. We invite you to join the number one ranked trading club online, the Traders Academy Club, and to start trading like a real professional. Our students make amazing returns, and you can do too. Let your successful trading journey begin. Join Traders Academy Club using the link below this video now.